Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tilburg, the Netherlands. You join us for game three of the first round of the Oberliga playoffs between the Tilburg Clubbers and the White and Blue Devils. My name is Jaap Steenkamer, and I'm joined by Rolfersdijk. A very good evening. Matt Abercrombie there to take the face off against Denny Stamper. Face-off win by Tilburg, but stolen by the Blue Devils. Some good defensive play there by Matt Abercrombie. In the meantime, it is recovered by Bowles, working his way around the net. Scores! Amazing! That quickly, number 70. A wraparound attempt from Parker Bowles that hits the back of the net after 30 seconds of play in the first period. And Wyden needs to regain some composure here if it's gonna be a game tonight in the meantime the home team is up one to nothing early in the first pocket balls already at three points and he already scored two goals and uh, one assist uh, he's doing a lovely job in the playoffs so that's his third game of the third goal of the playoffs rather exactly 40 seconds already gone in the power play abercrombie comes the other way with speed some deeks here Good eyes by Van Orskot. So in the corner we go. Abercrombie still harassing. Stehler with him. Stehler poking it loose. In front in the right wing circle, but no devil there. And we might have a two on one here with Parker Bowles. The Stamper scores! And what an amazing shorthanded goal by Denny Stamper. A shorthanded goal that puts the home team up. Two to nothing with two minutes, 55 seconds. Again, the Blue Devils not able to control the puck at the attacking blue line. And they send away the Truppers on a two on one. Parker Bowles connecting with Denny Stamfer and with a half open cage. Stamfer's not gonna miss that one. The home team up two to nothing. 58 seconds left on the power play for the Blue Devils. Denny Stempel already had four assists in the playoffs, but this is his first goal, and uh, he makes it a beautiful one being shorthanded. Gotta love those. Who nearly find, found Jordi van Orschot, who had a half open cage. In the meantime, Van Heuvel comes again, shoots off the post! Puck is still in the devil's zone as the tra trappers keep it in. Bostink throws it towards the net, Bruce the score! What a deke there in the crease by Kevin Bruyse and the home team takes a commanding 3 to nothing lead early in the second period. The second time Kevin Bruyse gets it on his stick on short notice and this time he uses it. He's ruthless and he crushes it into the net. The Blue Devils taking a hit to the face here early in the second period. They came out flying, but they give up the third goal here, and they have a mountain to climb here in Tilburg as play gets underway once more. 17 minutes, 55 seconds on the clock. Hermans along the left wing boards, looking for a man to pass to. He finds Van Orschot at the point now. Bostings, in deep it goes to Bruyste, who already scored one goal. To Van der Heuvel, back to Bostings. In deep, deflected in, scores! Right through the five hole. The Devils get their player Peter Henriksen back. And that was one lovely goal. Tilburg's first power play and first power play goal of the evening. Mickey Bustings throws it towards the net and I believe it will be credited to Ivy van der Heuvel as I think he deflected the puck through the five hole, as you said. Your goal of Johannes Wiedemann. 13 minutes, 10 seconds on the clock, and the home team scores its fourth goal of the evening. Pauke in the left wing corner. Pauke protects the puck. Noxam get his, gets his stick on it, but Abercrombie is able to steal it behind the net. Abercrombie working his way in, shoots. Shoveled along, Meyerdress with the pad down, and he gets the whistle. It is poked in. A surprise for all of us here in Tilburg, a surprise for us here in the box. But the Blue Devils are on the board with 19 minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. 
The score is 4-1. to one. Rule, who do you think will be credited with that goal? Uh, I will listen to it at the moment, but it looked like, even though it was a rambunctious scramble, that was Ralf Herbst, number six of the Blue Devils. Um, somebody in the break told me that it is a lopsided game and that it is an exciting game, but I completely disagree, especially now. Uh, well, making it an empty netter, that would be uh, very interesting since it's 4-1, to one, but hey, it gives you another shot um, to making that crucial goal. At the blue line, worked in deep to no. Abercrombie with Pauker. Pauker to Hendrickson, scores! Power play goal by Peter Hendrickson, who goes glove side on Ian Meyerdress. He manages to bury that puck in the top corner, and with two minutes, 42 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We have a hockey game here in Tilburg. It's 4-2. to two. The Devils are getting back up into the ward with 4-2. Um, the slot simply wasn't covered by defense to get the player back now, uh, but Ian Meyer just wasn't prepared for that. Congratulations to the Wyden Blue Devils getting the first power play goal against the Tilburg Trappers right here in game three. And at what a crucial moment it is. For the Blue Devils and a home crowd getting anxious as Matt Abercrombie takes the face off. Face off win by Abercrombie, thrown towards the net, but taken by Hans, who throws it towards the net and scores! And it's an empty netter! The empty net goal. Max Hammond scores his beautiful goal, his first in the playoffs. With two minutes and 15 seconds, that will be the end of the series, it looks like. The home team up 5-2. to two. But what a game it has been. The White and Blue Devils managed to claw their way back into this game. And the moment Johannes Wiedemann left his crease. It's a shame this series is not going to go out on 5-on-5 five five hockey, but there it is. Kittily Stelo will get at least 22 seconds in the box as Brock Montgomery will take the face off for the home team. Barry No behind the net. Works it towards the goal of Ian Meyerdress. 12 seconds left on the clock. Tilburg in possession. And it looks like they're going to go for one more push. Nardo Noxam crossing the line with speed, cutting in. Nardo Noxam throws it towards Wiedemann. Doesn't go for the face off, it's still loose. And that will do it. Tilburg sweeps the series three games to nothing as they win game three at home, five to two. Magnificent play with a lovely 10 goal difference. They've really crushed it this series and they're ready for the next opponent. That is probably going to be Regensburg. We'll have a look, ladies and gentlemen, in the meantime, at what some of the other games uh, have come down to. In the meantime, we see the friendly handshakes at Santa Ice, and we thank the White and Blue Devils for some great hockey here in Tilburg. It's been a pleasure having them, especially in game one. So many great fans from White and had traveled to Tilburg. A really great atmosphere here, and it was wonderful having so many great friends from Bayern here in the Netherlands. Nevertheless, the series has been sweeped by the home team, as also the coaches now, Ken Latta and Boislav Suba, congratulate the players on either side. A standing ovation and applause here from the capacity crowd in Tilburg for the Blue Devils from Wyden. And they salute the crowd back. It's been terrific having them here. The mascot puck is already on the ice with the big show flowers. So, uh, who's going to be the man of the match role? What do you That's think? It's an interesting question. There's, um, there have been so many goals, but there's also been so many saves. Usually the goalie is always under uh, underestimated, but I think it will most likely go to Dennis Stemper. 
Parker Bowles is also a candidate, I'd say. He's been a, exactly. he's been a tireless worker. It has to be said one more time, Waldowski here and Herbst. They get uh, a, a terrific applause from the home crowd here. And once again, the Blue Devils widen. It's been terrific having them here in Tilburg. We've seen some great hockey from them. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't able, they weren't able to get a win here.